Okay, so this is Greg Lem Precal. This is lesson 30, non-permissible values. So a rational expression is an algebraic fraction with the numerator and denominator of their polynomials. And so there's multiple ways, right? So look here, we have 1 over x or m over m plus 1 or even y squared minus 1 over y squared plus 2y plus 1. So binomial over trinomial. All of these are rational expressions. Now, non-permissible values are all the values, all the values that make the denominator zero. And we can't have zero in the denominator because if it's zero in the denominator, it's undefined, and we know that's not possible. So when you have a rational one like this, x plus 2 over x plus 3, we don't care about the x plus 2 at all. All we worry about is the x minus 3. So we set it equal to zero, and we find out x equals 3. So x could not equal 3, because if it's equal 3, then the denominator is 0. So this is known as an NPV or a non-permissible value. All right, so look at this one here. Determine all the non-permissible values. We don't care about the t in the top at all. We only care about the s and the r squared. So 4s equals 0, s equals 0, r squared equals 0, r equals 0. So in this case, r, uh, sorry, s cannot be equal to 0, and r cannot be equal to 0. So we have two non-permissible values. Both s and r cannot equal 0. Okay, this next one here, we have 3x over x times x squared, uh, sorry, 2x minus 3. Again, we don't care about the x on the top. All we care about is the denominator. So what we do, set the denominator equal to 0, and then solve for both sides here. So first one, x equals 0. That one's easy. And 2x minus 3 equals 0. Well, this one you just got to rearrange, right? Move the 3 to the other side and divide by 2. So x cannot be equal to 0, and x cannot be equal to root of 3. Uh, sorry, root three. <laughs> x cannot be equal to 3 over 2. So those are both non-permissible values. So in this case, two of them. All right, look at the last one here. Uh, 2p minus 1. That's on the numerator. We don't care. All we do is we care about the denominator. So this trinomial, we set it equal to 0. And this one factors into two nice binomials. So p minus 4 and p plus 3 set them both equal to 0. p equals 4. p equals negative 3. So p cannot equal 4. p cannot equal negative 3. Those are both our non-permissible values. So all you do is take the denominator, only the denominator, and set it and set it equal to zero. That's how you find the non-permissible values. Okay, so that was lesson thirty. Uh, lesson thirty.